Today, we are going to be bullying kids. Now, TikTok is an app that's obviously controversial. It's made up of 14 to 16 year olds, as well as myself, and comprised of many people trying to do silly dances, as well as get famous with terrible sketch comedy. Now, TikTok is an app known for its drama, but as I've made my account a week ago, I've already stumbled onto some drama and with a pretty familiar face. So, our players today. We have number one, Tyler Brash. Tyler Brash is known for his point of view TikToks that were made fun of by Cody Ko on one of his videos a few weeks back. Please don't, you're not lying. I thought that, I thought that the doctor said you can't have a baby. He has to be fucking with us, right? Player two, Max Dressler. Now Max is a TikTok, uh, I guess e-boy, but also kind of comedian who got huge making fun of Tyler in videos like this. Brought a photo album, so, no, that's your textbook. This you know, is, we're in class. Memory can be refreshed. Tyler, we're in class. <clears throat> Here's what we He's doing it listen. again. Max has gotten so popular off of these videos that when I followed him a week back, he had 1.2 million followers and now he's at 2.9 million followers and he's verified. Okay, so from watching videos from both Max and Tyler's side, I'm gonna give you a little background from piecing together both their stories. Max makes these videos, Tyler doesn't like them. Tyler then threatens Max that they want to fight at Playlist Live. Max says no. Then Tyler apologizes the next morning, and then Tyler blocks him. So, so now Max, with about 1.3 million followers, all of his fans start going to Tyler saying, unblock Max, unblock Max, unblock Max, uh, when he's posting his POVs. So giving in and not liking the harassment, Tyler blocks Max. Tyler then still gets harassment, and blocks him again. Max, meanwhile, is making TikToks, making fun of the block, and this only causes Max's fans to even bash Tyler more. Okay, you are all caught up now. That is it. So now, where are we at right now? So Tyler, being fed up with the hate, goes on Instagram and does an Instagram live and basically shits on Max for about 45 minutes saying he could suck a D uh, and that he doesn't like all the hate that his fans are sending his way. During the Instagram live, Tyler also DMs Max, asking him to join the live so he could confront him, and that's where we get eight minutes of pure gold. The general theme for this conversation is going to be that Tyler is upset with Max, he thinks that Max is kind of a bully, although he says it indirectly a few times, and he doesn't like the way Max's fans are attacking him and would appreciate if there were more positive fans. On the other hand, Max is saying that he is not bullying him, it is a joke, and it is Tyler's fault for taking it the way he is. Okay, so now you're all caught up, there's the background, and now we're gonna watch this Instagram live because it might just be one of the funniest interactions I've ever seen. I'm gonna say my point and you say yours. Okay. Okay. Do I put a lot of effort into my videos? I don't know. Do, do I, come on. Sure. Okay. Now how easy is this? This is your phone. We're not in second period, Tyler. Yes, Tyler. Like, dude, that's messed up. Okay, so off the bat, I'm gonna give Tyler a little bit of credit. Just a little bit, not a lot, because the rest of this video, I think Tyler is completely in the wrong. But, in his defense, in the very beginning, I do agree that Max's videos on him are low effort. But, does that mean that they're bad? No, they're pretty funny. I kinda like them. In a perfect world, yes. A person that does more effort should be rewarded more. And that is generally the case. However, you are both on TikTok. Both of you guys are putting in, like, no effort at all. It's, it's TikTok. You've already lost the moral high ground because your videos inherently don't have a lot of work in them. Same as Max's, same as anyone else on TikTok. It's just how the platform is. It's 15 second videos. They're not, they're not designed to be high entertainment value. It's just quick jokes or dances. It's not a lot of work to put a TikTok together. And to start your argument off by saying, do I put a lot of work in? You should appreciate it. It's like, no, dude, you don't put a lot of work in. Neither of you do. It's, that's not where you start the conversation <laughs> at all. Do you know how many aspiring filmmakers make a short film that takes them about two years to make and maybe some 100 people see it? Because that happens all the time. And those people put in so much work to their videos and no one fucking cares. Scoreboard, Tyler zero, Max zero, Gunner one. Okay, so immediately going forward, I just wanna make this clear. Tyler handled this whole situation so fucking bad. Uh, the way that Tyler goes about this is he will compliment Max and then completely shit on him. He will say, we should work together and then say, I wanna fucking fight you. It is no coherence. He's talking out of his head and he doesn't remember anything he says. So he's caught in a loop almost all the time. Also, don't forget, 
Tyler's 20, Max is 17. So Tyler, one, shouldn't be threatening him at all. Two, should be more mature and actually understand the situation and be able to be more coherent in his thoughts. You cannot make people like you, especially after you threaten them and make fun of them for 45 minutes before you confront them. It's not going to work. <laughs> Why are you mad, man? I didn't... You literally have been live for like the past 45 minutes just shit-talking me. I literally have videos of it. I'm like, it's cool and all. You know when you have a friend who talks shit a ton behind your back, but they're always super smiley and friendly to you? Uh, Tyler's basically the TikTok equivalent of that person. Dude, I said you're a cool guy. Why can't you leave it at that? You know, now you want to get mad because I said... What did I say that you hurt your feelings? You said you wanted... You said you wanted to beat my ass. <laughs> Loki do, bro. Okay. <laughs> At playlist. He's all over the place. He's flipping sides. He's going from this. So anyway, I don't give a fuck anymore. Fuck Max. He can go suck a dick. To this. I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings by blocking you. I'm, I really am, bro. If that hurts your feelings by blocking you, I'm sorry. And then Tyler continues to handle it poorly by saying shit like this. Dude, I'm not freaking out. All I'm saying is, is like, you just can't, you can't, you can't bully people like that. And, I, and dude, I'm not mad. I'm not mad or sad. Yeah, I'm just are. saying hey, for the other people ahead of me. Making fun of somebody's content is not bullying. Bullying is bad, right? Yes. But what is bullying? Definition of bullying. Seek to harm, intimidate, or coerce someone perceived as vulnerable. This is not bullying. If you think this is bullying, you are dumb and you deserve to get bullied for it. Bullying is what you call it when someone can stand up for themselves and they are being targeted maliciously. In this act, it is obvious to anyone with a sane brain that Max is only making a joke and is not trying to tear apart Tyler or destroy his reputation. In fact, the only bullying I'm seeing here is Tyler making a threat that he's going to fight him at Playlist Live. <laughs> Moreover, when you are a public figure, you are insanely more susceptible to being targeted, made fun of, criticized than anybody else, and you need to be open to it because this is a space that you work in. It comes with the job. If you can't handle it, you're in the wrong business. I want to make a point that Tyler can't seem to understand, and it's that you can't make people like you. The solution to an argument does not always have to be either we vehemently hate each other or we make up and get together. Listen, we'll collab in playlists. Do you not want to do that? Not really. Why? Because I'm immature. I don't act 20. Did I say either of those things just then? Well, no, I'm assuming. What What else? Why, Why are you, you assuming? Collab? Why would you not want to collab with me? Because I just don't want to. Not everyone is going to like you, and that's fine. You don't need a reason that someone doesn't want to work with you, but they might not completely hate your guts or want you to get bullied to the end of the earth. It's such a... 50-50 split of what reality is. It's not what it's like at all. Sometimes people just don't get along. Where I do think a real discussion lies is the fact that fans were targeting Tyler and making him feel bad in waves. And I think that can definitely have an effect on somebody. The way that Max's fans are reacting is a derivative of how Max is obviously making fun of Tyler. However, it is not Max's entire fault for the way that they go after Tyler. When Max's fans immediately started targeting Tyler, it was up to Tyler to have a discussion with Max and maybe say, I love the videos, they're funny, but maybe could you tell your fans to be less aggressive towards me? Run with the joke, make it part of your relationship. Don't just immediately DM him saying, let's fight, because <laughs> he'll never work with you after that. <laughs> You, sc you screwed yourself from the get-go, and that was entirely your fault. I'll get to my advice later on what he should have did, uh, but what he did off the bat challenging him to fight was completely the wrong fucking thing to do. <laughs> I don't know why he ever thought that would work. I, I mean, it's not like if they met at Playlist Live and they fought and Tyler won that all of Max's fans would suddenly love and adore Tyler. Like, no. <laughs> this, is, this is what I imagined it would be like at Playlist Live. Hey, yo, Max, bro, um, like... Can you come over here for a sec? Uh, no, like, dude, I like, I don't want to do this. No, just, just come over. Just come over. Uh, what, what's up, bro? Bitch, little bitch. Oh, fuck. All right, here's here's my TikTok account. You can have my 2.9 million followers. You you win, Tyler. I'm sorry. That's exactly how it should have gone. <laughs> Does this drama seem very familiar? Because it really should. It falls almost exactly in line with the way that Cody Ko had some beef with Jake Paul a few months back. For those of you unfamiliar. 
There's a little bit of beef where Cody made a bunch of videos on Jake Paul. Jake Paul approached him in another YouTuber's collab video, basically saying he's a cyber bully. Uh, and Cody Ko said, I'm not. Now, this relates because it's a very similar situation. You have one party that makes cringy content, Jake Paul, Tyler Brash. You have another party that then makes fun of that content, Cody Ko, Max Dressler. And then you have the first party that accuses the other of bullying and spreading hate. And then the party responds with, I don't think I crossed the line, and if I did, it was subjective anyway. So the big question is, where is the line? And honestly, it's hard to tell. I'm a big proponent of free speech and making jokes at others' expenses, no matter who. I think it teaches people to take themselves less seriously, which I think we would all benefit from, as well as humbles them if they're actually in the wrong for what they're doing. So it sounds like I'm saying everything's on the table, right? Well, no. And this is where the rules are almost impossible to make about this kind of stuff because every case is so fucking different. It's very obvious when someone is bullying to a point where they need to make somebody feel worse about themselves so that they are elevated. I think there's a big difference when you criticize and make a joke about somebody to make them either better in what they're doing or just a joke that everyone can laugh at, including the person getting made fun of. The intent can be so obvious if you just pay attention. And it is up to us, especially those in the public eye or on YouTube or TikTok or wherever, to take the criticism in, take the joke in, and respond appropriately. Take yourself less seriously. Don't be a douchebag. <laughs> so what is my advice to Tyler and what he should have done from the very beginning was roll with the joke. I, I really don't know why you would do anything other than roll with the joke. You have about 2.9 million people watching a TikTok that features you. It is entirely in your field to gain from that by just rolling with the joke. Make a TikTok where you react to him reacting to you. Do a joke with him. Do a different duet. Do something. Just don't confront him saying, do you want to fight? Are you kidding me? A joke does not instantly mean bullying, and it's up to you to respond correctly to that. I think the best way to do it is take yourself less seriously and run with it. Unless Max, you DM him saying, let's do a collaboration off the bat, and he says, fuck you, I hate your shit, go fuck yourself. Maybe, maybe respond like that then. But if you're making the first move, it's up to you to do it correctly. Go with the joke, have a good time, gain off of it. You could have gotten... You could have rode the wave that Max got. He went from 1.2 to 2.9 in a week. And you're stuck at 400,000 right now. You, you failed. You lost. <laughs> it was two weeks ago that there was the, the Peloton ad. And, and the girl was getting clowned on by all of Twitter because she was in the ad that had misogynistic joke. She was thin and she was on a bike or whatever. It was a cringy ad altogether. But Ryan Reynolds offered her to hop in a commercial for his gin company. She took it very hesitantly. And once she did, the media embraced her. Everyone loved her. They thought she was awesome. We all simultaneously need to take ourselves less seriously while still being able to joke about other people. If you try to make a rule about it, then that's how you end up with YouTube's harassment policy, which is complete dog shit, and would probably label me criticizing Tyler Brash as harassment, which is just stupid. <laughs> to wrap this all up, I want to play a clip from Noelle Miller. It's on the Tiny Meat Gang podcast with Cody Ko. Uh, this one, they were talking about the drama with Jake Paul and kind of just tie together all the sentiments on how I feel about the situation. I was watching dudes 30, 35, making observations about the world. It changed the way I looked at the world and it made me think more critically about myself. Yeah. It enabled me to have like a sense of self-awareness and, and not take shit seriously. It, it made me feel better about like, you know, if kids were cooler than me or kids were this and that. Like yeah. I, I could look in the mirror and joke about it. I could joke about them. And that was my fucking weapon against that shit. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I never thought my second video would be about TikTok, but here we are. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe below as well as hit the notification bell uh, so you can know when I get new content up. Uh, and next week, we will be making fun of disabled kids with autism. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> subscribe. This is my channel.